Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. I know it has been forever since, uh... Since Don't just come. Friend Mario is doing better. I still wouldn't move him yet, though. Sheldon's supposed to be here. Mm -hmm. Well, nice Tom fucking Sheldon. Right? Where's your hat? Yeah, where did that though? In a nutshell, De Ravello knows where you are, and he's sending a big old army to kill you. Oh, mm -hmm. I wonder how that happened. I do too. I do love her braids yeah. though. The high, She's a the bitch. high These definition on them braids. It ain't like that, partner, and you know it. I came to Bullshit. warn you that D. Ravello's cleansing flame is a coming for you. It is? Okay. D. Ravello's forces are going to be here soon to take out that EMP and kill Dima. Always blame both sides, eh, Sheldon? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. You do with that information what you want. I'll tell you one thing. I'll see you around. He might take the, the EMP out. He ain't killing Dima, though. Y'all gonna help your boy? You two ready for some action? Oh, that's nice of you, Rico, but I'm not up for suicide. Come on, deal. Not this time, Rico. Good luck. <sighs> I am Damn! Is the EMP ready? Yes. Dio's talented engineer. Device stabilizer. Won't explode. Good. Power it up. We're going to need it. We make our stand here. Rico, I can fight. Mario. From the shotgun, Mario. You need to take it easy. I can fight, fratre. Alright. Dima, she stayed with me. I stay with Dima. Take care of yourself, Fratri. I won't let that happen to you, dog. I got you, partner. These motherfuckers. So when I last left you guys, man, y'all might wonder why I haven't been upload in a while. Mm. Truth of the matter is this. Like I said, the military vehicles are coming in, Rico. It ain't been too much going on, man. We got um, we got LJ doing this thing at school. I'm having to go get him early now, man. Look at the people at the school can't do their jobs. I'm having to go get him early because uh, he doesn't do anything when the when his um when the daytime lady is there. Everything's perfectly fine. But in the evening, oh yeah, something appears to happen in the evening. LJ just don't like, and he just start biting. He doesn't bite people. Nobody, anybody at home. Might be because there's no kids for him to bite here. But like you said, if somebody was telling me in the comments, the fact that they can't give me an answer, and you know they never do give you an answer. They just try to kick the kid out of school because, you know, anything else will be too much like them doing their job. So, yeah. That's where we are now. But I ain't gonna let them kick. It would be, a, it'll be a, a legal shit storm of epic proportions, proportions on them. Because my thing is not, okay, if I were a parent and my child got bit, I would be still saying, okay, I, I'm never gonna blame the children. I'd be like, yo, what the fuck was the damn teacher doing? when the child was biting him. You know what I'm saying? First of all, I, I'd be sensible enough to say, hey, you know, it's, they're kids, you know, kids, kids, kids bite. I mean, this this happens, you know, not a big deal to me. Some parents are slightly more dramatic than others. And seeing as how LJ is damn near 6'5", they're three years old, you know how this going to go. So it is what it is. They used to say, uh, you know, he was, he was push people and stuff. And he never did none of that stuff. It's like, he may just be bigger. I, I don't think they said he pushed people, but they would just they would just be like, you know. Um he never pushed anybody. No, that's what I'm saying. You know, I guess they would always be concerned with him being in the class because he was bigger than the other kids. But he's not way bigger than anybody, he's just a little bit bigger. But I I just like this is what I think it all stems from. He 
LJ has very sensitive hearing. And when things get chaotic, he likes to put his hands over his ears and he don't want to be bothered. And I think what's happening is in the evening time when I go in there, I mean, it is super chaotic to the point where I don't really want him there in the evening time anyway. But at the same time, I can't work effectively if he's here. So it's, it's, it's like a double-edged sword, man. It sucks. But that's why my production has been now. Because in the evening, I'm, I'm having to go get him. And I, I just have to... I got to deal with him in the evening time. So I'm working, playing daddy, daddy daycare, and all that at the same time. This is what it is, man. But it's all good, baby. Now that we done listen to my life story, here we go. Yes. Hold up. Did we do this already? Fuck it. If we did it one time, we gonna do it again in this motherfucker. Yes, sir. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town, coming to you live with uh, yet more Just Cause gameplay. Get your ass out the truck, bitch. You have been neutralized. I am the neutralizer, not to be confused with the naturalizer, which is a whack at, well, I ain't gonna say it's a whack store, but it's a store that we used to have around my way. But anyway. Speaking around the way, is LA Cool J married? Is he married? Or is he like a bachelor for life? I guess he might even be a bachelor for life. I don't know. I seriously don't. That's a, that's a question I always wonder. He's supposed to be like the coolest dude on the planet and all the ladies love him, but is he married though? But I mean, I guess if you were cool with James, then would you be married? Would you want to get married if the ladies loved you? Hmm. I don't know. I know the ladies love cool easy. I wouldn't want to get married, but I suppose. But hey, it's a little bit too late for that now. I can't just say I don't want to get married, because then that means LJ wouldn't exist. I, we'll I kind of love LJ. So, you know. Of course I love my son. Fuck. What the hell, Mario? Why is this truck not blowing up? A million. American dollars on there. And the paratroopers. You would think that you could just shoot their parachutes and they would fall and plummet to a uh, watery Rico, death. But that is obviously is not the case. Okay, we got the EMP next, Demon. Why is this dude not fucking dying? I'm shooting him right in his damn face at point blank range. The damn ricochet bullet should be killing his ass. I don't know. Rico, they're coming from everywhere. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to activate this EMP pretty soon. Electromagnetic pulse primed. Rico, enemy vehicles are now in range of EMP. We're being overrun, Rico. Use the EMP. Okay, I'm gonna use the damn EMP. Y'all done gave me every indication that I probably need to use the motherfucking EMP. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right over here. Oh my God! I got it, I got it. I'm gonna hit it. All right, yes! And it counts. Damn, they shitting on Mario. What the fuck? All right, let me get over here to Mario first. How is this happening? Damn. They were shitting on Mario, though. Hey, that man. All right, so I got half Mario, half EMP, and a whole bag of gummy bears. Restock your ammo, Rico. They'll be back for that EMP. Yeah, I'm right. They're going to be back. Okay, so I got an energy air gun back here. Uh, Rico, paratroopers, shoot them down. I got you, Playboy. Oh, mm. 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 
Four piece. Five piece. Six piece. Seven piece. Snack pack. Uh -huh. Incoming. Oh, they got battleships now. Uh -huh. oh, maybe I got back into battle too soon. Oh. Yeah, let me get this. All right, so this is what I'm about to do. I'm going to try to take the, um, how many shots I got? Five? All right, cool. Okay. If I can... Said that I'm shooting this Enemy shit. Ha! Oh shit. Caution! Bavarian tanks detected. Tanks and choppers? Wow, they are not messing around. These dudes are not fucking around. EMP primed again. Fuck. Use EMP, Rico. Enemy vehicles are in range. Alright, I'm going to use the EMP. Let's activate the EMP. EMP has sustained heavy damage. Boom! Shake, shake the room. Boom! Shake, shake the room in this motherfucker. I wish Tio could see. Mm-hmm. We're doing fine without them, eh, Rico? Rico and the Tetra fight again. Ouch. Rico, we've got more soldiers coming in. All right. Can't let you guys have all the fun now, can we? I bet you will come back out there and do all the fucking work. Not at all. I simply needed to verify that the EMP works. You're no good to me dead, Rodriguez. Shut up around here, yo! Welcome to Frigo and etc. Don't be jealous, Rick, okay? You're important yeah, too. Just... That's twice now I've saved your ass, Rodriguez. Thank what? You, Annika. Yes, device successful. Mario. She's so manly, I love it. How did Rivello know we were here? Because he's psychic. No, it's Sheldon. Sheldon is psychic? Mario. <laughs> I don't trust him. We have to use him. Tell Sheldon we're going to attack the power plant. That is a good idea. Yes. You lay the bait. We'll see if the Rivello bites. Mm-hmm. You lay the bait, we're gonna see if the Rivello bites. Mm. I am eating the gummy bear, though. Damn! Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hey, abandon ship, baby. We finished the mission. We stayed alive. And it went like 15, 50 minutes. But anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this. If y'all want another episode, let me know down in the comments. If you're first time here, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, share the video. Do all that good shit, man. And I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! And me and Bridget will be doing some Walking Dead later on, man. If y'all want that, leave it down in the comments. Peace.